Hi, this is Nithya, Department of English, Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women, British Literature 2, Unit 1, Poem, Ulysses, Alfred Lord Tennyson. Tennyson, he was born in the year 1809 and died 1892. He, wo he was rewarded as a poet laureate in his uh, lifetime. The Lotus Eaters, Lady of Charlotte, The Idols of the King. So these are all the famous works of Kim. Ulysses, it is a poem. And it is in the form of blank verse and also it is a dramatic monologue. Dramatic monologue means only one person will speak and other uh, others are the passive listeners. So like that Ulysses is giving a long speech about uh, how a human should be, how we have to lead a life. So philosophical uh, uh, ideas he gave, Tennyson he gave through the mouth of Ulysses. And he, uh, he talked about uh, his fellow mariners and uh, the people about his adventures and it, the tone it is in the form of elegy because uh, he reminiscence the death of his uh, friend Arthur Hallam and in the end of the word he finished it with a very positive optimistic note to, to, to strive to see to find and not to yield. So superb poem he wind up. Next poem, My Last Duchess by Robert Browning. He was born in the year 1812 and died 1889. He is a Victorian poet and playwright. Even this poem, it is in the form of a dramatic monologue. And then uh, Robert Browning, he is a master of two things, dramatic monologue and psychological portraiture. And the ring and the book, it is a masterpiece of Kim. And here, who is the speaker who is giving that long speech, long speech of dramatic monologue means Duke of Ferrara. And it is the famous heroic couplet. The concept is Duke Ferrara's wife, uh, she is giving uh, importance to all like his husband. So, uh, she treats everybody same including his husband. So, it is not uh, accepted and also it is not tolerated by the Duke. So, he kills her and then uh, he, uh, and he is uh, telling uh, how his wife is imperfect while he look out the portrait of the Duchess. So, this is the concept, the theme he talked in this poem, My Last Duchess. Next poem, The Verse Wasteland by T.S. Eliot. Eliot was born in the year 1888 and died 1965. He is a poet, playwright, literary critic and editor and he is a leader of one movement that is modernist movement in poetry and does this uh, poem based on it has five different parts uh, named as the burial of the dead, a game of chess, a fire sermon, death by water and what the thunder said. So in that he discussed half the modern society of 20th century, it lacks faith, it lacks hope and half the people they reflected uh, without any uh, certainty. So this is the concept he discussed. One critic, uh, I.A. Richard, he said about this poem uh, in his work, The Principles of Literary Criticism, based on this uh, music of ideas, so like that he gave the commentary. Next poem, The Unknown Citizen by W.H. Auden. He was born in the 1971 and died 1973. He is a British-born American poet, prose writer and essayist. And Funeral Blues, it is a notable work of Kim because in that he dealt the political and social themes. And the poem, this poem, Unknown Citizen, it has 26 lines of single stanza. In that he discussed the concept of uh, how the human values reduced and also how the humans they neglected because of the modern technology, numbers, letters, uh, because of the technical development. So he satirizes the government system and also how the citizen as well as the soldier neglected by the society. This is the concept he discussed in this poem. Next, Unit 2, Piece of Chalk. It's a prose work by G.K. Chesterton. Was born in the year 1874 and died 1936. He was an English author, philosopher, Christian apologist, theologist and literary and art critic. So what is the theme means uh, reality of human life he discussed in this prose because so the person who took a brown color uh, paper 
and in that he wished to draw one with a mystical picture so for that he took so many colors and in the end of it he wished to take the white color but the white color chalk piece it's not available there and he hardly find out that and he's telling that whatever color may be used but white is a in god's creation white is the color it spreads positivity towards everybody so like that a kind of a philosophical concept he discussed in this prose next prose sir roger at church it's by joseph addison joseph addison 1672 to born and died 1719 is an english essayist satirist and he occupies a, a large space in english literature and also he he always known for his uh, essay collection named as the tatler and the spectator and he brought a new style of uh, essays uh, during 18th century and then uh, so here the major character is sir roger d coverley so this person uh, in this in a church he acted as a churchman and also he did a, a sermon he pray and then he, he dressed in a very uh, well manner and also he started to guide the people how they have to come to the church everything and also he uh, he likes to tell the word amen and uh, so he proved in front of the common ordinary people sir roger means uh, he is full of uh, good qualities so this is the concept uh, he discussed in this prose thank you